Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So in this video, we will learn about the class binding in the Angular. So what is this class binding? So you people are already aware of this class binding. So if you are familiar with the Angular, Angular means, so you know about this class binding. So class binding in the Angular allows you to dynamically add or remove the CSS classes based on the conditions in your component logic. So these condition, these classes can be added in uh, three different ways. One is binding a single class. So binding a single class. So how we will bind it? I will try to show you. These are different different scenarios. And another one is binding a multiple class. So here I will write it. And the last one is binding to a multiple class with an array or an object, whichever it may be. So you can conditionally apply multiple classes using an array. And you can add or remove multiple classes using an object. So this multiple classes and single class means you can add or remove a single class based on a Boolean condition. So these are the different ways how you can write it. So the first one is, is binding to a single class. So you can use the concept like single class binding. So in the Angular, so latest Angular, you can use something like class dot. You can use the class name. Okay. So if you want to add a single class so you can use the class dot class name syntax to bind a single class if the expression evaluates to true means then that class will be applied otherwise it will be removed i will try to show you a simple example for this one so here is a, it is our code and here this is our project if i try to show you for example let's say that do and this is an i will write something like active do and here I want to apply a class. So in our app component.ts, so here I will write a code in such a way that is active is equal to true. Okay, I will be having is active is equal to true. All right, I will so let that thing. Yeah. Is active is equal to true. Now here, if I want to apply that single class means directly, how can I apply this one? So directly we can apply it. So how can I apply this one? Is so what is the class I want to apply? Active. So here I can write class dot active, whatever the class you want. So here you can write it as something like not active. So live or anything, whatever the thing you want. So active and you need to mention the variable name. That one should be a Boolean. So that one should be a truthy value. So here I will apply this is active to this one. That's it. Automatically for this one is active class will be applied. If I try to show you the inspect element here and here you'll be able to see class is equal to active has been applied. So if you, so that means Whenever you are having a single class that needs to be applied means so you can use class dot active is equal to active like this. For example, let's say that you are having a multiple bar, multiple classes using an object. So then what you can do it is so let's say that you are having two things like uh, is active and also is highlighted. So these are the two things you are having. Now I want to apply the classes to this one. So how can I apply this one? So now what we need to do is we need to use a directive that is nothing but ng class ng class is equal to and here I will use what is the class I want to use active and what is the variable associated to this one is is active and another one I want to apply is the highlight okay I want to apply the highlight so when is highlighted is there that's it so now active class and highlight class both the classes will be applied if is active is true then active class will be applied if is highlighted is true means then highlight is applied. But in this scenario, if you try to see is highlighted is false and is active is true. So that means only the active class will be applied. If you try to check it here, the inspect element, only the, you will be able to see the class is equal to active is the only thing which has been applied. For example, let's say that I will try to apply is highlighted. So I will make it apply as a true. Now, if you try to see here, both the things active and highlight both all the things has been applied so like this you will be having now the last one which i want to explain is the is the binding to a multiple classes using an array so this one also we can do it without any problem so now for example let's say that uh, the array thing so you will be having an array thing let's say that like this so i have a classes like this so let's try to yeah, I am having a classes is equal to active and highlight. These are the classes I am having. And if I want to apply this one to here means then what I can do it is directly I can remove this one and here I can apply the classes. Okay, classes I can apply. That's it. Now if you try to see here, 
the output will come and both the classes will be applied so if you want if you are having an array of classes means then you want to apply it means then also you can apply directly like this so this is one way you can bind multiple classes using an array of class names also next one is a conditional class binding so if you are having a conditional class binding means so which i have shown you already so that is a conditional class binding so is high is disabled true so like this if you are having it means so for example let's say that so you are having something like this okay is active true is disabled true like this means then what you can do it is instead of having it like this then you can write something like here active is active you can add it like this and another one is highlight highlight is highlighted okay and the last one is disable is disabled so you can use it like this now if you try to see here based on the scenario whichever is true only that active and disable has been applied highlight is not applied because it is in false state so this is how we can apply the class binding different scenarios we will be using it and the last one which i want to explain you is the precedence thing so which one will be taken into the precedence for example let's say that when multiple class bindings are applied to the same element the precedence of these bindings generally follows the css rules the order of precedence can depend on the specific scenario and how angular process the bindings however in general the inline styles have the highest precedence followed by the classes set directly in the template and then the classes set dynamically through angular binding so let's look at the different scenarios and i will uh, let's understand how the precedence actually works for example let's say that i am having the development right let's say that i am having a development and for this development i am removing this one all so let's say that i will be having a static class class is equal to static class so this one is a static class which i am not applying anything and here i will be applying class dot dynamic class so i will be applying this dynamic class also then is dynamic i will use is dynamic and this variable is not existing so i will try to apply is dynamic is equal to true so that means both the classes will be bind to this one if you try to see for this one both the static class and dynamic class is, is there so if i try to write the css for this static class and dynamic class means for example let's say that here like this if i try to write which one will be taken into precedence here the dynamic class will be taken into precedence why because in example so in this static class and the dynamic class will be applied to the div that is the final thing the final color of the text will depend on the order of the css rules if both classes apply to the styles to the same property here the order in which the css is ap applied will follow the typical css specificity rules where the later defined the style in the style sheet will take the precedence if both are sp specified in the same specificity level so here the second one will be taken into the precedence so next one is a multiple dynamic class bindings for example let's say that here let's go to the html and i will be having dynamic class bindings means let's say class sorry class dot active is equal to is active let's say that i'm having it like this and another one is class dot highlight is equal to is highlighted so these are the two variables which i will be having and these two things i will try to make it as a true so i will make it as a true here now if you try to see the output for this one now if i try to see the output for this one so here you'll be able to see active and a highlight thing is coming now let's try to apply the css for this one so both the things i am applying is css for this so which one will be taken into the precedence and if you try to see the orange in this case both active and highlight class are applied the color of the text will be determined by the order of the css rule similar to the previous example so how the previous example is working in the same scenario it will be working now dynamic class binding with the ng class let's try to see with the dynamic class binding now the same thing i will try to remove this one and instead of having it like this i will do ng class okay and here i will do active active class should be applied if it is is active okay and highlight should be applied if it is is highlight that's it now if you try to see the output for this one active and highlight right so i am trying to use it and if you try to go to the css active and highlight is there and i will try to change it to purple and yellow so that uh, you will be able to understand very easily okay 
now if you see the output the purple and here both active and highlight class will be applied similarly the order in which the ng class supplies the class doesn't matter for the css preference it depends on the css rules defined in your style sheet so there are this one also the same scenario combination of static dynamic and the inline styles so if you try to i will try to show you the combination of inline inline static and also the dynamic thing so for example let's say that i will try to remove this one and i will highlight it with so i am having a static class and i am having a dynamic class is dynamic is equal to true i will try to make it as is dynamic is equal to true okay and also i am having a color pink so in this scenario so both the static class is applied dynamic class is applied and also the style is applied in this scenario the inline style will be taken as the precedence so as you already know about the css rules and all those things so the inline styles will be taken as the precedence inline styles always have the highest precedence in the css it's low. so at the end of this one summary inline styles have the highest precedence dynamic class bindings class dot class name or ng class will override the static classes if both apply styles to the same property order of the css rules in the style sheet matters if multiple classes apply the styles to the same property the letter defined will take the precedence so this is all different scenarios in the class binding hope you understood about this one in the angular if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.